Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. Continuing on with our series on retouching with A2 Beauty. The previous videos mainly focused on skin examples. So you could revitalize skin by removing spots, moles and wrinkles. Or you could age skin by inverting the functionality of the Selective Effects shader. In this example, you'll move away from skin and examine the effect of A2 Beauty on a different texture. So our focus will be clothing, but you should try it out on other textures and hopefully you'll be surprised by the result. If you would like to follow along, please click the link in the YouTube description to download the media. Alternatively, if you're watching the podcast, then please type the displayed link in your favorite web browser. Now you'll be following this workflow using the batch node compositor, simply because I'm already providing the external mats for the shot. If you were generating your selective constraints from scratch, you could also use the effects environment in the timeline. So load both the fill and its mat as source clips into batch. If you select the fill clip and press F4 for the result view, here you have a mid shot where the model is twisting her body. There is a fan blowing her t-shirt which is fine. However, there is way too much crinkling and creasing in her trousers. It's quite common for materials to get creased. But it's also quite common for clients to request that there is little or no creasing. So the challenge is to clean up the trousers, but still retain a bit of the detail to make it a believable fix. I've seen this done in other photo applications using high frequency separation, and A2 Beauty also has some of that magic. Going back to batch, I've also provided you with a matte clip which has already isolated the parts of the trousers to fix. This will help us work fast and keep us focused on A2 Beauty. But in case you want to make your own mat, I used a combination of luminance keyers, masks and matte edge tools to create this clip. Now you'll use Action to perform the fixing, but you could also use the Image node if you're that way inclined. Go to the Batch node bin and drag out an Action node into the Batch schematic. Press Ctrl N twice to create two new media inputs. Connect the clip into the first media input and the mat into the second media input. You just connect to the red front inputs and not the blue mat inputs. Double click on Action for its controls and press Alt 2 for a 2-up view. Action schematic on the left and result viewport on the right. Now you use the mat as a selective constraint and not an image, so delete its axis and image object. Coming back to the result view, zoom into the trousers of the model. Now let's apply the selective to the image. Ensure the image is selective and call up the contextual menu. Choose Add Selective. In the file browser, the A2 Beauty selective effects should be the first in the list. Select it and it's applied to the whole image. The next step is to constrain the effect with the supplied mat. If you take a look at the media list, you will note that the mat is available as the front input for Media Input 2. Keep that in mind. Double click on the A2 Beauty node or you could choose Selective 1 in the HUD. Whatever you prefer. Under the Selective Controls, you will find a header called Input Mat. By default, it's inactive, which is minus 1. Change the value to 2. So now you're using input 2 in the media list to define the mat constraint. Next, you need to tell Flame what channel to use in order to derive the constraint. This all depends on whether you're using the front connection or the mat connection of an action media input node. Since in this case, the mat is fed into the front media input, it is considered as an RGB image, therefore you can use any of the colour channels. Click the pull down menu and you can choose either red, green or blue. Looking at the result view, A2 Beauty is only affecting the trousers. If you toggle A2 Beauty off and on with the H keyboard shortcut, you can see that A2 Beauty is starting to clean up the fabric. Now to clean up the fabric much better, it's pretty much a case of experimenting. 
But even though you're smoothing things out, you need to preserve the luminance, the colours and the grain. So this is the recipe I used for this example. Set the fix size to 50. This pulls out a lot of the wrinkles, but leaves some of the natural creasing. To remove a bit more of the detail, dial down the radius to 5. So less area is being considered for detail recovery. Now luminance is also there with the smoothing, but there is quite a lot of grain in the original shot, and that needs to be recovered. Set the size detail to 10. This will pull back some of the removed grain. Now that's looking a little too smooth in terms of luminance, so let's restore some of the shading. Set the highlight to 0.2 and the shadows to 0.1. This will bring back some of the natural detail of the fabric. Using the H keyboard shortcut, here is the before and this is the after. If you scrub the time bar, you can see that A2 Beauty is smoothing the fabric throughout the duration of the shot. Frame the entire image to the result view. So you can use A2 Beauty to fix light wrinkles or heavy creasing, and it should be up to the job. For a much more precise and finished look, you may want to perform your fixes in smaller patches, as you can control the amount of A2 Beauty per patch using multiple selectives, or you could use multiple patches with a single A2 Beauty selective to control exactly what is affected and what is not. So that concludes the workflows of A2 Beauty, and hopefully this is a very useful tool to have at your disposal. More videos will be added with any future developments to A2 Beauty. Don't forget to check out the other features, workflows and enhancements to Flame 2019. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel for future videos and thanks for watching.